Hello everyone, today we'll see how to create this really cool fantasy picture in here that they call Mother of Dragons that is obviously inspired by the great series Game of Thrones so we'll see how to do that using Adobe Photoshop alright fantastic so let's get to it okay so open your Adobe Photoshop and as you can see I still have my PSD here open and I will make sure like to upload this PSD along with uh, all the other uh, texture and images that will be compositing in this uh, manipulation alright so first of all like we need to uh, create the cave so I will just open this uh, cave picture in here just open it and drag it in Adobe Photoshop and uh, uh, we need like uh, to delete this uh, entire uh, part in here and we'll uh, be compositing it with uh, this uh, uh, picture in here so we we'll just open that in Adobe Photoshop too so uh, in this picture we all we all we need like to to use is the clouds and this upper area of the, the cave in here so we we'll just uh, of course, I will just make a layer mask to it, and I will try like uh, to delete these parts. And let me first let's see. Yeah, we need like now. Let me first let me resize it to make it fit. Alright, okay, I think it looks cool. Now we just try to, to delete this part in here. So, we just use a regular brush and uh, with the black color, I will delete this part in here. Try to reveal the, the, the ground of uh, the other uh, cave in here. So I want to use these rocks, so we just make them visible. All right, it's it's just you know try like to blend everything together and look realistic a little bit. So. It's Okay, let's try to see what you can do. Alright, so we just delete this part in here. By pressing X you can switch between the black and the white color. For now we're just using the a soft brush but we will make it harder in a second so we can just try to define the area that I want to use. Alright, this part in here and this part as you can see now we, I would make the brush hardness 100 or 98 or 96 something like that and now I'll try like to cut with the brush this area with the rocks to make them sharp first take all the details in here all right don't want this part in here so, so just delete this part all right and I will go back to this part in here and we just delete in here following the uh, the rocks you can play with the, the hardness of the brush all right something like that
Okay. Here, a bit in here. Alright. Let's go to this side in here. Let's mimic a bit invisible. Because I want to this uh, these rocks in here I want to be I want them to be shown so I'll try like to make a cut. So we just blend in everything together. Like so. As you can see, it's starting to look good, and we need like, to play with that a little bit. So we just soften the brush, the brush a little bit. So we just delete a little bit in here. Alright, now we adjust the color of this of this upper rocks in here so we just apply a level adjustment so we can darker a little bit somewhere like this all right looks cool and I will make a hue saturation adjustment and I will desaturate a little bit as you can see and it looks it looks cool Alright, let's delete a little bit in here. Uh, we forgot this part in here. Let's delete that. As you can see, just blending everything together. Now, I will make a snapshot by pressing Shift Control Alt E to make this in a separate group in here. And now, uh, we bring the, the sky so let's go and open the sky picture let's first put everything in group in here okay. let's call this background in case we want to use it so just open the, the sky picture in here just open it and drag it in the same window let's put it above now uh, we try like also to blend everything so let's first make a copy of it in case we want to use it and I will just make the opacity a little bit down so I can see where I want to put this so the main idea here is like to to make the, the clouds coming uh, toward the, the cave the inside of the cave you know so let's that's why I look to see I want like to make it appear in here in this part in here and we just create a, a layer mask and then we just try to delete this uh, parts in here so we just delete with the black color let's make a, a soft brush you can always go back to the layer mask in here and uh, you know make a selection for the parts that we want like uh, to to not be touched so let's let's first delete this part in here all right something like that 
experience reverse the selection and delete this part in here as you can see try to make him blend all right let's go and now uh, as you can see it's out to look good little more in here but this this clouds in here like we need like to make them looks like realistic so I will just delete everything and I will I will be using a uh, cloud brushes so it will looks like it would give it like a really cool looks to the the rocks and it's blend them more so we just with this let me just delete so with this layer mask selected I will just open the brush and choose a cloud brush I will uh, make I will put this the link uh, to download this brush in the link from the description below so just choose a brush and make them the opacity like 80% and you know start like to just make uh, the the clouds appear in the, in the cave so try like with different brushes let's choose this one in here we'll just play with that and let's choose another one maybe alright let's choose this one in here let's choose this one okay and just okay. alright something like that alright so I'm doing this really quickly you can just give it more time let's delete this part of the rock you know to make them convenient to the eye by switching the, between the black and the white you can just delete some of uh, the brushes that you just so just I like to make a little bit a bit in fade all right something like that let's just delete a little bit in here so we just keep doing this and we'll fast the video a little bit all right something like that as you can see now we need like to play with this uh, sky in here so we just try to make it looks like darker a little bit so we just uh, use this picture in here you can choose you can choose like a different uh, sky or different clouds but I will just use this one in here and I will make it make it under the as you can see I like this let's give it like Let's make it fade. Let's see. Alright, somewhere in here. Okay, looks cool. And I will just load the selection of this with the same uh, rocks we, we did in here. So we just I make a layer mask to it. Just like that. And let's delete a little bit in here with the black uh, brushes. So I, I, what I did, I just load the selection of the cave, and I reverse the selection, and I delete what's outside the the sky. So I'll just delete this part in here. see now I want like uh, a little bit of uh, these mountains to appear more 
so we just uh, select the layer mask and we'll delete with the soft opacity uh, to make to make it appear just a little bit like so just like that it looks like foggy and we just delete a little bit in here all right all right something like that as you can see it's Turn down the opacity more. And okay, something like that. All right, looks cool. Now we need like to blend the the model. So uh, first, like uh, I added a, a rock in here. So we just open this foggy picture of this rock in here. Just open it and drag it to the picture. To the same file in here. Let's enter. And I just I just uh, make the opacity for like so in first I just uh, turn down turn the, the blending mode to soft light and then uh, I make a copy of it and I turn it to hard light so this way it will make it like blend really really cool so first let's delete let's make our layer mask to the soft light uh, one in here and we just delete these edges that we don't want to be shown so just really quickly delete this part in here it's like so this way it will make it look uh, it will make it blend to the the uh, image so by seeing in the layer mask in here you can see where you delete and where not let's see okay let's make a copy of this one and we we'll change the blending mode to hard light and we just turn down the opacity a little bit more maybe 70% all right, I like that. Okay. Now uh, I grab the the picture of the model. Uh, I already did, I already uh, cut it this uh, picture, so I won't spend a lot of time uh, cutting this picture. So I will just open the PNG one in here. As you can see, I just uh, flip it horizontally because I want it to face in this way in here. You can see something in here that I don't like. Oh, it's, it's from here. Let's delete that. What is that? I think it's from the sky. Yeah, it's from here. Okay, let's make a layer mask above this one in here. And I will um, go to the clone stamp tool and I will just try to hide this part in here very quickly. Okay. Now let's make the model like we make it smaller to make it fit in here. So we we'll want to make it like it's standing in the rocks. Okay. somewhere in here let's enter now uh, let's see if 
first like we need like to blend the the hair yeah so let's open the uh, hair stock in here i will make sure like to upload the, to, to to upload the link for, for uh, this uh, hair in here so just open this and let me see i will choose this white one in here yeah and i will just open it in my image let me uh, close that and I'll press Ctrl T so we make it smaller so I only need like to hide this part in here so I will just try to make it fit somewhere in here all right let's go let's zoom more can uh, always let like, go and choose the, the warp tool to blend and adjust the, the way uh, the hair looks okay I like that let's enter now I would make a layer mask to it and I would try like to delete a little bit uh, in the edges in here so we just put the soft brush try like delete in here to make it fit as you can see it looks cool now we need like to adjust the color of this hair in here so I will just apply hue saturation let me choose and we will just first let me desaturate it a little bit all right, I think it looks cool this way. And let's, let's make a clipping mask to it. All right, and this is just the color. All right, it looks cool. Okay, let's make it light more. see yeah like that but we will blend it more so you can always go and you know choose uh, the, the smudge tool and try to blend everything so choose simple all layers and I already have the, uh, the the brush of the hair in here so I will uh, upload this one too and let's try like to blend the hair more like this as you can see Let's go. All right, I like that. Now let's play with the skin more. So let's see what we can do here. I'm always using this much tool. to hide this floating hair in here in her face let's hide it a little bit let's try like to let's first try like to make a uh, shadow to her legs so we go to uh, this uh, layer of the girl in here and we make a layer under it by pressing control one click 
and I will choose a soft brush and a black color. I will turn down the opacity more and I will try like to make a shadow under her legs in here. Let's quickly. I don't like the reds of uh, the legs, but first we need like to apply a little bit of. Uh, let's make everything fit. So I will just uh, make a curves adjustment, and I will try like to bring it. Let me make a clipping mask to just. Let's first make everything in a group in here. The girl. It's in control G, so it's just curling here, as you can see. Now I will make a curve with a clipping mask to just curl, and I will just apply with all right. Okay. Well, I don't like the tone of this, so we just make a copy of it, and I will uh, convert it to smart object, and I will apply a camera raw filter to it. So we just go to filter, camera raw filter, and I will just we just like uh, to. Turn down the highlights of this image. Maybe the exposure. Alright, something like that. It's okay. As you can see, this is this is before, this is after. Looks cool. Now we just make a curved adjustment to it. Let me choose three points in here. So this. We just want to affect the dress. So we'll uh, turn this uh, layer mask into black by pressing Ctrl I. And I will just, uh, with uh, a brush, I will just apply it into the edges of uh, the dress so we we'll just make the dress a little bit darker in this area in here like so And I will just try like to make the spots in here darker more of the legs. Alright, let's make a hue saturation pressing 
choose a hue saturation and always I will go to the clipping mask this may desaturate the red alright something like that looks cool So I will make a, a black layer mask and I will just make it for the legs. Alright. Let's go. Cool. 